a new diocesan bishop marks an important milestone in the life of a diocese and we are so grateful for all the prayer the support and love that's undergirded the discernment process as we've searched for a successor for Bishop Julian. There's been an extensive local consultation, national consultation. We're really grateful to those from our diocese who've served on the interview panel last November, which was chaired by the Archbishop of York. And so it is with great joy uh, that we receive the news that His Majesty the King has approved the nomination of the next Bishop of Blackburn who will be our very own Philip North Bishop of Burnley. So Philip, that's big news. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? My goodness me, I'm feeling joyful. I'm feeling humbled. I'm feeling a greater need than ever to rely on God's grace rather than any alleged gifts of my own, I think. <laughs> As you know, over the last eight years in which I've worked in this diocese, I've come to feel a really deep love for Lancashire, for its people, for its churches, for its fantastic family of church schools, for its chaplaincies, for its countryside, for everything about Lancashire. I feel a deep sense of belonging here. And so it's a really wonderful joy to be able to go on serving this county for the next stage of my life. We've got some fantastic parish clergy and lay leaders. Um, we've got some really imaginative ministry going on in this diocese. We've got a really excellent leadership team. So I'm just really overjoyed and excited to see where God might be leading us next. Mm, well, we're excited to have you. And uh, do you have a sense already of what your key priorities might be going forward? Yeah, I think there's three things probably I'll be particularly focusing on. The first is around having a joyful Christian community in every single part of Lancashire. So a big focus will be on what it means to renew parish life, because everybody in this county needs and deserves to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Does that mean a big focus on prayer and on those deep and uh, sustainable patterns of prayer? Because without prayer, we can do nothing. It'll mean making sure we have a really good pipeline of priests and lay leaders to take responsibility in our parishes. It'll mean emphasising the need to start new local congregations that reach demographics and groups of people who perhaps we're not reaching with the gospel at the moment. So that's the first thing, having joyful Christian communities in every corner of the county. Then second, I think, there'll be quite a big emphasis on justice. In, life is hard for many people at the moment, as we know, with a cost of living crisis and people worrying about Ukraine and where that war may be leading. In contrast, the Bible has a really strong vision of the justice of God's kingdom in which men and women live together um, in harmony, acknowledging each other's beauty and dignity, living under God. So I think churches or the church across Lancashire can be a stronger voice for justice and giving voice to the poor and being alongside the marginalised and the forgotten. And then a third emphasis for me will be around young people, children and young people. Um, I love working with the young. Mm. I think this is a wonderful generation growing up now with this passion for the environment, this deep sense of right and wrong, this you know, interest in exploring the deeper things of life and purpose and what they're all about. I'd love to see Christians more involved in those conversations, so we're really finding new ways of capturing young imaginations with the gospel of Jesus Christ, so that in the uh, words of the vision, we're not just inspiring children and young people, but they can inspire us also with their vitality and their freshness. Mm. Well, that sounds inspiring, but um, how, how are you going to do that? Yeah, it's a good question, <laughs> Richard, Julia. And of course, one of the great things is that in many ways, that's laid out for us mm. in Vision 2026. We have a really mm. strong strategic vision in this diocese. It's a vision for growth, for growing healthy churches and transforming communities. And I'm really excited about uh, carrying on the implementation of that vision. But of course, quite soon, we'll need to be seeking this guidance of the Spirit and talking to one another as we think what may come next and what th that vision might be looking into the next stage of our life together. But also, you know, what we're outlining here is a vision really for the growth of the church in Lancashire. And that's only going to be possible if every single person plays their part. That's why I'm so committed to a diverse church and to one in which we can all flourish together and use our gifts to the full. Now, of course, we know we've got uh, quite a way to go still in this diocese in achieving that, but I'm very committed to carrying on that journey. Mm. So that's a tall order, Bishop Phillips. So how can we be praying for you? It's an interesting in these times of transition how much comes from left field that can distract you, how much detail can push the big things out of the way. So I think the important prayer is that together we might keep our eyes fixed 
on Jesus Christ. We can keep the main thing, the main thing, spending time with him, listening to his call in our lives, responding joyfully, keeping our eyes fixed on him. Mm. And so finally, what, what actually happens next? Oh, well, sometime in May or June, there'll be a big service of installation here in Blackburn Cathedral. I hope as many people watching can come along to that. Mm as we celebrate the life of the church in Lancashire. But above all, we pray for the guidance of the Spirit and for a visitation of the Spirit on our county so that many more may come to know and love God in his Son, Jesus Christ. Mm. Well, so finally, Bishop, can I pray That'd for you? Thank you. Thank this you. important moment. So a scripture that's come to mind for you is uh, from Romans 15. So Philip, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Father, would you send your spirit on Bishop Philip? Would you send your spirit on the people of Lancashire? Would you visit us? And may you set many hearts on fire with love for you, always for your glory. Amen. Amen.